My daughters are two and a half and one and a half years old. And slowly we want to start potty training them. Preferably the bigger girl first. So we bought this perfect uh, fitting potty trainer. Uh, it's actually a two-in-one um, potty trainer because when you don't need it on your potty, you can just go like this and use it as a stepping stool for them reaching the sink or you can just uh, put it away and store it somewhere. And if you want to grab it, you can easily just grab it and put it on your toilet seat because we know when they first use the potty, they're always in a hurry and this needs to be uh, fast. So this is just um, super, super cute design. I love that little teddy bear in the back and um, it has so many great features. So first of all, it has an adjustable leg here. So um, according to the height of your toilet, you can just put it lower or higher. It fits um, in all different toilet shapes and sizes except square toilets, but anything else, it fits perfectly to any type of toilet. It has an anti-slip material, so when the kids um, step on there, it has a little grip on there that they don't slip and fall. This is, um, you can take this off, this is a super soft cushion, so um, when you have to clean it, you can just simply take it off and avoid any um, mold building up or anything. Then. Um, it's um, also a splash guard, so it has this little thing there, especially for boys. And like I said, it's a, a two-to-one, two-in-one um, potty trainer, so it works perfectly as a stepping stool or a toilet seat. So here's again a close-up of the anti-slip material. You see they have these little things here that the kids don't slip and it is also super super simple to assemble and that's what I'm going to show you now in the next clip. Okay so here are all the pieces that toilet seat potty trainer comes with. So we need a couple screws. They uh, fit into each other. Then we have the actual toilet seat. We have the handles. We have um, the first step and the second step and we also have this little cushion that goes on top of the toilet seat later on. Now I'm going to show you how this all is going to be assembled and how fast this is actually working. Okay so first we are going to clip our handles inside for you. You need nothing for this, just clip them inside. This is super simple super secure because you can't get them out so easy you can do nothing your kid can't get them out okay let's put this to the side then we have this first step with these two back pieces so this just gonna go inside of here one and two okay and then we have these pieces they just gotta uh, click together as a triangle and then they're gonna go inside of here so we just click them and click this one. So the first steps are super, super simple. There's no screws needed at the moment. I'll run side. Yep. Okay. And it goes like this. And this one goes like this. And you have the first step already done. And then you're going to take the second step. And this is the first time we're going to actually need our screws. Okay, so now we are going to um, put these pieces inside and um, this um, potty trainer actually came with one extra tool for these screws, but I lost it since I already assembled it and I just disassembled it for the video. So you can just use anything else like uh, this that fits in these little gaps and then the screwdriver is just too small. So um, we're gonna put these pieces in here, that is actually the piece that can adjust the height of a seat. You can put it in here and um, depending on the height of your toilet, you can just push it up and down and put your screws in the right position. And the same thing goes on this side. So that's what we're going to do first. It has to be the same on each side, of course. So I'm going to use the second hole. And you put one screw from the inside, and one other side goes from this side here, and then you just let it go. Then like this, this we 
where you can use your tool to tighten it for the side, same thing. The second opening, that's how it fits perfectly on our toilets. yourself if you don't have that tool no more. Just use something else. And normally there's no need to disassemble this in between. Okay, other side. Okay, so this is good now, and now you can put your seat on there, and just um, also put the screws in there, and then you can fold this down like this, and uh, store it. So, screw goes on this side, and the other side goes here. This way you can store it, but if your bathroom is small, if you don't want to have this permanently on your toilet, then you can just put it to the side like this. You can put it under your sink and you can, you can use it as a stepper to brush your teeth or to do anything. And this is how it is looking. And you can put your little cushion on it that your kid sits comfortably on the toilet seat. And then uh, this is how you put it on your toilet. Okay, so this is how I have the potty training now, and you can just store it right next to your toilet and just get it out when you need it. If your kid has to use the toilet, you just take it, put it on there, and they can actually just walk on the steps and sit on it. For more security, they uh, suggest that you um, lift this up, and of course you have to put it a little bit lower. Um, it's actually super stable and also has some anti-slip material on it. So this works perfectly and it fits perfectly on all types of sizes of toilet shapes and sizes. So except uh, square ones, it fits on any toilet. So it, it works perfectly um, on this one here. Okay, so I highly recommend this amazing uh, potty trainer toilet seat two in one. It is really perfectly and it fits um, for every toilet. So you should definitely get this no matter what. And you should uh, teach your kid how to use the potty with this super cute seat. Thank you for watching.